All right, y'all. It's 6.50 in the morning. Um, day four, running in barefoot shoes. Uh, so, gotta say my calves are still sore. Uh, but I've, uh, you know, warmed them up a bit. And they feel like I could go for miles uh, more than I've already gone. I've gone about three and a half miles this morning. Uh, and uh, the last pace I checked was a 10.05 pace. Uh, got more than a mile to get back home. So I'm just gonna keep running till I get there. If I go over four, that's fine. Uh, so, observations so far. Uh, I'm using a lot of muscles that I haven't used in a long time. Uh, so, you know, my calves, pretty sore. I've got some more soreness kind of in the back of my quads. I don't know what muscle that is. A hamstrings, I guess. Uh, so yeah, hamstring uh, soreness. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty cold outside. It's about 30, 35 degrees. Um, maybe 40 degrees now. Uh, but my feet are not cold, so that's pretty good. But that might be because I'm running. Um, as I said in an earlier video, I wear, uh, I wear, um, wool socks underneath these. I don't wear just like, you think a wool sock, you think like a really thick sock. I get, uh, my socks off smart wool. So, check them out. I might put a link, uh, in the description of this video, uh, for smart wool. And then, uh... I may just put a link for the shoes that I'm wearing in the description of all the videos that I'm running in. But, yeah. Uh, not me, it's pretty good. I just ran the loop on... Oh, I thought there was someone running behind me. Uh, I just ran the loop at Railroad Park and uh, tracked it. I think I tracked it before, but I forgot how long it was. It's about a mile and a half, a little more than a mile and a half if you run the entire outside perimeter. So it's pretty nice because you can get out there and uh, run a couple of those loops. Uh, for me, I run out there, run a loop twice, and then run back home. That's not what I did this morning, but it's what I've done in the past. This morning, kind of just ran all the way out. Uh, down the road as far as I could. We go garbage truck passing. Uh, as far as I could, uh, made a right, made a left, made another right, ended up at the park, uh, then ran the loop, uh, came back around. So, but yeah, but not feeling pretty good this morning. Uh, just, uh, just the calf soreness, not much else. Uh, yeah, so it's been a pretty good run. So I like these shoes. One thing I did do was this morning, I went ahead and, uh, I woke up real early. Uh, as I said, it's probably about seven o'clock right now. 6.55, I guess. Uh, so when I woke up this morning, uh, got dressed and everything, I woke up at four. Got dressed and everything, put the shoes on, you know, got uh, all ready to go outside. Just needed to go downstairs and grab my jacket from the car. And then I was like, hey, it's real early. I didn't sleep enough last night. And it's normally not a great idea to just go back to sleep. I think, uh, what I need to do is start setting my timer to a more realistic sleep time because those hours you get after waking up, they're not as beneficial to your body because you probably won't ever get 
to REM sleep. But, um, yeah, so I uh, went back, laid down on the couch. I was wearing my shoes and uh, wearing my barefoot shoes. And uh, I uh, fell asleep with them. I slept for almost two hours. <clears throat> and uh, I noticed one of my feet started going numb. And it's because I had it laced too tight. And so I was like, oh, that's interesting. When I got up, I went ahead and I sat down on the stairs. And I loosened both of the shoes up. And so I'm actually wearing them very loose. It's actually looser than I've ever worn a pair of shoes before, I would say. And, uh, man, because they're so flexible, they don't feel like they're coming off my feet at all. Which is insane, you know? Because I'm used to loosening up a pair of shoes and then taking forever to find that right amount of tightness so it doesn't... Uh, your foot, your heel doesn't start coming up in them. And these ones, because of the flex of a barefoot style shoe, uh, it, um, it just holds on. But you don't need like a ton of pressure on your foot. So that's nice. It's nice to not have a bunch of pressure on the top of my foot. And it's a problem I didn't even realize until I'd been in them for a couple hours doing nothing. So... But, yeah, I mean, the fit's still great on these things. I say I had a little bit of toe pain this morning. I may need to clip my nails. Uh, but that was, like, like in the first half mile. And I don't feel anything wrong now. I can still feel my feet, you know. Bottoms are still a little bit sore. But not dramatically, you know, more sore than they were before. They're about the same. Just a steady soreness. But that's because I'm using them. You know, whereas I wasn't using them before. So. I think I'm almost a half a mile out from my house. But. Yeah. So. Uh, day four is going pretty good. Uh, currently. Uh plan to run over four miles almost there uh, as I said when I started this video I'd already run three and a half so uh, and then tomorrow I'm probably going to give it a break again I'm not gonna run again and if I do I may do something like speed work uh, because Saturday I'd like to get out and run about eight so, but we'll see how that works out. See how that shakes out. Because it'd be nice to run eight. And I think I can do it uh, right now. But my pace has slowed down considerably. But not, I think that's more by choice. When I got out this morning, I decided, hey, I'm not going to run that fast. Uh, because I don't want to hurt myself. And I don't want to overuse my calf muscles. So, um... So yeah, uh, but I think I can, I think I can go hit eight. I, it's not going to be under nine. That's for damn sure. Uh, it'll probably be like ten and a half. That's my guess. But I'm surprising myself today because I thought I was going to run elevens. Uh, so we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah. Uh, Man, and I just feel like I warmed up. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm about done with my run, and it's like, hey, my body's just like, hey, let's get going. So, I like it whenever, I don't know if this happens to y'all, but, you know, after I've run about two miles, I'll look at my pace, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then I'll just chill and keep running, and uh, I'll look down, and I'm like, dang. My pace just went way up. So I'll be running like a 10, you know, like a 10 10, and then uh, keep running and run the whole next mile, and my pace drops down to like 
a 9, like a 954 or something like that. So, but I won't feel like I've changed, you know, and I won't be any more tired. So, but that happened a little bit this morning because when I completed two miles and I ran the next mile and a half, I looked at my pace and I was at, I think I started, I hit two miles at about a 10.10 and then uh, after about three miles, I was at like uh, like a 10.03 or something like that. And then when I started the video, I slowed down a bit, but I was at like a 10.05 again. So, 10.07, I can't remember. Unfortunately, my phone doesn't track all that stuff. I'll be getting a Garmin watch pretty soon. And I think that tracks a lot of that stuff. Uh, to show you like, if your pace is consistent or if it rises and falls, we'll see. But so far, almost home. Just gotta keep running. But I think I'm gonna end the video right here. So that way I can run in and stop my uh, step tracker. Uh, stop my GPS. And then uh, I'll figure out what distance I ran. I think it's probably gonna be about four and a half miles. But uh, anyways, I guess I'll see you later. If I don't post any bonus content, I'll see you guys on uh, day five.